Some border restaurants actually deliver across the border. Okay. So if you deliver across the border now. That won't work. It won't if work you if deliver. You, that's correct. If you deliver across the border, it doesn't work. Right. If you don't deliver or don't cross the border, you're fine. What about if you use one of those third-party delivery services, you know, where they use an app and they order something? And the app would be the, the people who are actually doing delivery would be responsible. You would not. Okay. As long as that as long as that company is based in New York State. So this keeps all the money in New York State? No, it doesn't keep all the money a in New good, York State. A good amount of it. It it gives the small business owner a shot at competing against larger businesses, which almost always cross borders. Mm -hmm. And right? it gives farmers a much greater incentive. Yes. And to be more to farm to table, all, those, right, all that stuff. Right, but, now right. I gotta help my farmers out. My New York State farmers are, are hurting badly. That's one idea. But the second thing is you wanna treat farmers like small businesses. And they're not which means they don't get the SBA loans, they don't get help, they don't get treated that way. It does not work when you treat them like small businesses. Mm -hmm. But next, I wanna completely legalize uh, hemp and, and cannabis. And I'm now gonna, you're talking. And I wanna regulate them like onions. Onions? Like onions, I'm not joking, like onions. Why onions? Here's the reason why. A lot of onions come out of New York, that's why. Right? Yes, so that's why I picked onions. you grow your own onions and no one cares. Bingo, exactly correct. And uh -huh. here's the issue, there are three reasons why I wanna legalize hemp and cannabis. And most people think, you want to get high. No, the only drug I use is cannabis. I mean, it's cannabis, is uh, caffeine. Oh, bust so, it. It's the only you, drug. Freud. Yeah, I like that. Now it's about <laughs> cannabis. I, no, but the, if I used cannabis, I would happily tell you. Right. So I don't have anything to hide. Okay. Why I would happily tell you. You ever not, use it? Not my thing. Do you I, get paranoid and worry about the school system when you get high? I think I talk even more. I don't want to talk even more, do I? Nobody, I would you have, might I'd not, have man. No you might be introspective. You might sit back and go, God, I talk too much. Yeah, maybe. Have you ever done I could, mushrooms? Then That's I could what do happens. This. I've never done mushrooms. I never yeah, have. when no. I do mushrooms, I feel like I talk too much. So maybe, maybe I should try them one day. You've never done mushrooms? Never done mushrooms. That makes me uncomfortable. Yes. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm but very you're square. you're my age, right? What do you, I'm, how old are you? I'm 50. Yeah, I'm 51. There we go. You've never done mushrooms? Never. So somebody came up to you and go, Larry, you want to do some mushrooms? And you're like, no, man, one day I want to be governor. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was seven and I thought, <laughs> Got to be governor one Jesus, day. Jesus, who's bringing mushrooms to a fucking seven-year-old? No, that's what, what I was thinking. Psycho, are you hanging around with? <laughs> you got. You don't understand where I, where I grew up. When I grew, I get it. where Queens, I grew right? up. No, I grew up in South Bronx. Oh, even more crazy. It was crazy. And there, Do you know and, Tim Dog. I don't know who Tim Dog is. Sorry, I've, I haven't it's been in the Bronx in many years. South, South Bronx. Sorry, I haven't been in the Bronx in many years. Apologize. Okay. But anyway, it's what's a very about? obscure reference? Mushrooms yeah. and marijuana. Yes, thank you. Right, and um, you've never smoked pot. I have not. No. Never. Never have. What? The yes. f I can't Never get have. behind you, bro. Sorry. Never have. What kind of square are you, dude? I'm square. No, no pot, I am. no mushrooms. I don't even you do alcohol. You acid? Nope. Do you want to try it? Mm, maybe one day. What about right now? No, not now. No, 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 okay. no, no, no. I'm running a campaign, my friend. Oh. Yes, maybe running a campaign. Help you. Maybe it'll help you. Mm, odds are no. Talk to me mm. November 7th. Okay. November 7th. Okay. To be forward, 7th. I'm not against any of these things. Right. It's your body, you own your body. Okay. So if I if I smoke drink? cannabis, no, I don't drink either. You don't ever drink? Not even I, a beer? Once in a while. Glass of wine if, with if, dinner? If people are around drinking, I'll drink. Right. But I don't I don't have any alcohol in my house. I don't drink unless others are drinking. Okay. I'm, I'll socially drink. Again, I don't have any, I don't have any I problem understand. with it. Drink so or don't drink. Well, your focus for most of your life has been what? Business? Uh, first it was military. I was a Marine for seven years. Mm -hmm. And then? And then it was business. Yes. So it you're was. just a uh, keep your nose to the grindstone kind of guy? Get yes. things done? How else could I do this? Have you seen my campaign? This is the, the last three gubernatorial campaigns in New York State combined didn't raise $10,000. Combined. I raised over a quarter million already. The last three gubernatorial candidates combined didn't do anywhere near the amount of stops I've made, and I still have two months left. How much did Cynthia Nixon raise? Uh, 1.7, I think, million. Million? That think is 1. crazy. 7. I think 1. How many 7. people getting behind sex in the city? A lot. There's a lot of that menopause money out there, bro. I need some so of that, I guess. I don't know. It's Whatever it is. Around. My point being, yes, <laughs> nose to the grindstone. I'm doing this, of course. Okay, I believe Absolutely. you. Absolutely. No There's mushrooms, though, huh? No mushrooms. Nothing. No. Maybe later. No Not weed. Now. Wait till November 7th. And then once you hit, then maybe we'll then see. Maybe you party with me. Maybe if I win, okay. I can't do it while while I'm governor. Hmm. That would be that would be that would be not not cool. But Ma marijuana isn't it legal in New York State? No, still no, it's not. not. You have to no, have like not. serious diseases, right? That's correct. Medical. And Can you, you fix that? Of course. Why? That's the point. Yeah, that seems really Look, preposterous. My whole point on cannabis and hemp is heavily because of farmers also, right? right. The small farmers right particularly now need- hemp. Yes, particularly hemp, yes. it's totally uncontroversial and it's a fantastic commodity. It's good, it's good for the soil, it's good for the environment, and the best thing is if you treat small farmers like small businesses, they can now specialize. Meaning they can specialize in hemp and then also create products in their farm. 
They mm-hmm. want specialized hemp products. Right. They can do that and create niche industries. Right. Right. And we see that in New York State with both coffee and um, and breweries. We see already happening in New York State. And you would have the same sort of uh, incentives for them to sell in New York. Absolutely. Yes. Right. So Particularly can... hemp, which would be incredibly beneficial with zero controversy. That's correct. In yes. terms of like psychoactive effects, it doesn't have them. people. People would be very happy to do that, right? right? But cannabis too, because I want you to be able to create cannabis products. But right. there's something else, and that is there are a lot of people in this country, but I'll talk about New York State specifically, who have chronic pain. And right now they have three choices. One, an opioid, and maybe get addicted. Two, suffer, which I don't accept. Or three, what people tell me, and for some reason, again, it's only been women who've told me this. They walk up to me and say, you know, Larry, I hope you can legalize marijuana because I smoke a little at night so I can go to sleep. What about so pain. CBD? CBD so, is legal in your state? No, it's not, I don't think so. It's not. I don't think it is. Um, Fucking I don't. A. You know, it's a good question. I don't think it is. That's crazy. It's probably medicinal. I'm sorry. It's probably medicinal. CBD? Probably. Medi- that'd be my assumption. But CBD has no psychoactive effects. No, I know. No side effects. But it comes out of it comes with cannabis. Right. So I I'm, I think. Well, Jamie's is, uh, gonna look it up real quick. I think it's just I think it's medical in New York State. So my you have point to have is, some sort of a doctor's prescription yes. to get CBD. Okay. So my point is, if it's onions, you can grow it in your backyard. Right. Great medicine in your backyard. Right. If we Carrots, heavily tomatoes. yes, if we right. heavily regulate cannabis and or hemp, big business wins. Small business loses. Hmm. Guaranteed, it'll become big business cronyism. The small farmers collapse. Right. It's the wrong answer. Right. So we need to make that happen. And people are already smoking it. And maybe you don't want to smoke it. Why don't you have an edible? Why don't you have liquid? Why right. don't you have whatever's your thing? Right. You right. don't have to smoke it. If you want to of smoke course. it, please smoke it. But there's many ways of, of taking advantage of, of both THC and, and CBD, yes. whichever you prefer. And look, it's your body, not mine. Yeah. And why in the world would I want you to have to live with chronic pain if you don't have to? Right. Well, I said it again, not about being CBD, righteous. CBD, because CBD, again, is not psychoactive. Is there it legal? Go. Yeah, okay, it is legal in New York. There we go. It's it's pretty legal everywhere, CBD, because of the fact that it doesn't have any psychoactive effects. And it's fantastic for people with arthritis. And so there a we lot go. of older folks are, I mean, shit, I got Ted Nugent taking it. How about oh, I like that? that. He's never even touched anything Ted Nugent marijuana likes my stuff. related. Does he? Yeah, he likes my Facebook stuff. 